Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Cheetah Barbie. If you are new or not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. And for those who and for those who are my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Okay, today's video, we are going to be playing Two Point Hospital. This game is so, so much fun, and I'm so, so, so excited to play this game. It is like a Sims build, um, and I like it. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and play this game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's get started. I've already played a little bit, but I am going to do a new save file. So, um, yeah, so we can start a whole new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, <laughs> and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> oh, this game is just so awesome. I'm addicted. It's a good game. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay, begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Hogsport. Okay. Two Point Hospital, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and carry some patients? Oh, I'm so ready. Looking around the hospital. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around. To move around the hospital, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edges of the screen. All this I already know, but let's look around. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Also, too, <laughs> totally forgot to do this in the beginning. But disclaimer, if you hear any kids or anyone in the background, those are my babies playing around living their life. Just a heads up. Okay, reception. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Let's do that. I'm moving this all over the place, sorry. I'm still trying to get used to the keys. Okay. Reception desk. We're gonna put it right in the entryway, entrance, so we can see it. Great, we'll need an assistant to run reception. Let's hire one now. Click the hire button and select assistance to new job applicants. All right, let's see what choices we have. We have Benning Bunting, 
He is employment reference. He's grumpy. Green fingers. Believers believes they mean well. Okay. His recruitment fee is only eight hundred seventy nine dollars. Let he's a two star one too. Let's go to a three star. Felix Pigmento. Uh, the boy next door and can't drive. His look at his fee. And then we have one star Erica Catnip inspiring their favorite flavor is yellow that is a flavor to them okay so i'm thinking because of with these stats what's this customer service increased reception and retail skills plus 50 percent customer service skill staff with this qualification zero but this person felix he has a lot of stuff he has emotional intelligence increased happiness 10 percent he has 50% customer service skill and the energy drains at a reduced rate. Wait for longer <clears throat> before requiring a break. Let's go ahead and grab him. We're going to hire Felix. Plop him right down. I think he'll be great for the hospital. General practitioner's office great before we officially open we'll need a gp's office patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnose the gp will access patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further di di diagno di ha! diagnosis let's build a gp's office now yeah Room building. To build a room, click on the rooms. La, 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 la. I already know this. But in case, go ahead and read this. All right. Where do I want to build a GP's office? That's a lot the question. Um... Welcome back to your I think I'm going to build it against this station, wall right here. Vastly so we go to rooms, Nigel GP's office. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. There we go. Should any of you have any requests Let's move in close. Tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate we to need a um, impulse. I have no intention of taking desk, any of that drivel. Office desk, some file cabinets. Let's put that behind. Um, the file cabinet store medical records and romantic novels, a decorative item, and then the office desk, a useful buffer between the staff and the sickly. So that's all we need, but I'm going to add extra stuff in the room because it looks too bare. Even though you can go ahead and press that, I'm going to add a bend. It's a lo locus of local litter, requires empty empty by a janitor let's put it by the door um, a fire extinguisher we're gonna need that sneezes anti-free foam and doubles as a door stop a janitor will need one of these if there's a fire yeah so let's put one I guess like right here and then let's put a plant and then we're going to do uh, a poster to bring happiness to the office. Okay, that's it. Excellent. Now we need a doctor to run the GP's office. Hire one now. Okay, let's hire a doctor. Let's look at our choices. So we have Gil Muffin. He is... Um, all right. Inspiring, a natural mentor will work for Peanut. Says Bluetooth when they mean Wi-Fi. I like him already. He's a two-star. Let's get Alfie Pug Pugent. Employment reference: nasty, wants more money, excited by wax-sealed letters. And he's a three-star. He's our three-star. Uh, then we have ooh, that's the name Hortense Vacuum um, unhygienic think their life is a rom-com <laughs> a delightful diner guest or dinner guest I think I'm going to go with this one increase diagnosis skills plus 10 diagnosis skills uh, increase happiness oh increase 10% speed I like that 
and uh, increase GP diagnosis skills plus 15%. Let's go ahead and hire Gil Muffin. His higher pay is 2000 something. So yeah, we're going to plop you right here. There we go. Hospital open. Good news. Our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at a reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnose. Okay. So I know from experience that we're going to need chairs for them to sit on. We're going to need vending machines for them to eat. Just stuff to keep them interested. So yeah. Zooming and rotating to zoom in and out. Use the yes, I know this. Let's keep an eye on the first patient as they head for diagnosis with GP. Where is it? Or her? Oh, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Rotate camera. Holistics is Pitch a camera to open another of its nature communes for sick people. Oh, there's our person right there. Money. What does pitch camera mean? And money. Okay, that's our person. Let's look at them. Can we click on them? Oh, nope. Don't want to do that. Nope. Sally Benefi. Appointment GPA status. Okay, we've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. Okay, so let me see. Pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Grout. Or Groot. Groot is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with the screwdriver. Ugh. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pharmacy in order to treat them. It will cost $7,600 to build. We have enough money. Uh, what would you like to do? Get the... Yeah, let's get patient to wait. I'm actually going to pause. Yeah, let's pause real quick. Um, so we can build this. So they don't have to wait that long. See, everything is at pause. It's really cool. Okay, so we're going to do a, a pharmacy, I guess right in this area. Let me see. Yeah. Alright, so let's build a pharmacy. Um, go to rooms. And then we also got to hire a nurse. Alright, and let's put this right here um let's spruce up the room let's add a plant let's add a picture what did a picture do a print signed photo of the superstar herself wicked increase hospital attractive attractiveness and room prestige okay let's put one right there and we need a fire extinguisher we need a trash can um and let's Let's throw a file cabinet in there. Why not? Ooh, we don't want to hide the picture. Because it's really pretty. Alright, let's zoom in so we can see our room. Yeah, I think that's good. Yep, okay. Now our room's been built, but we have to hire a nurse. So let's see what nurse we can hire for this room. Logan Vault. He's new, right? Hygienic. No, he's the same guy. Um, how about Derek Plum? Inspiring. Grumpy. Will work for peanuts. Understand digital memory is an extent. Extent. Um. Let's do Derek. I don't know. Logan wants more money. It's like, hmm. Let's do this one. Okay, now let's push play so they should go to the pharmacist let's Sally let's see Sally go nurse wow he's starting off a little bit of happiness but at least his stamina is up I didn't look at his stats I don't remember his stats 
Maybe I can get a better view. Like this. There we go. What's wrong with her, doctor? Oh, she's taking some medicine. Yay! She's been cured. You're welcome, Sally. Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned money and the hospital's reputation has improved with which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illness are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Yay! Oh, we got mail. Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. Okay. Oh, so we have an extra person. Okay, so I'm... Okay, so now it says... Now that we... Oh, janitors and maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into despair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered um, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines. While you're at it, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry, right? Yes, that's why we put a lot of fire extinguishers in each room but we're going to also put a bench down here and let's go ahead and hire janitors um okay so we have a couple sebastian sparrow relish enthusiast Maintenance plus 30% maintenance skills allow a janitor to upgrade machines. He can upgrade machines. 30% also motivation and also 30% more. But this one let me upgrade. Hmm. Let's start with Luca Wetter. What's how how was her attitude though? Motivated, high energy, wants more money, never returns favors. What about Willow Gruff? Nausea inducing, terribly dull, believes they mean well. Let's do Luca. Alright. Janders will be called to repair a machine when its maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request that a janitor repair it immediately. Oh, okay, keep the people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat when they're between appointments. If they've become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. On that note, we are going to pause this. Yeah, so we can put all this stuff down. And... Um, Alright, so I do want to make like a waiting room of some type, of some sorts. Sorry about the camera. S what's this letter say? Item controls. Rotate item when holding an item. Yes, yes, I already know all this. Okay. So let's look at our items. We're going to put some benches down. For people. Gotta make this hospital look spiffy. And nice. Let's do another row. Wait, is this gonna be blocking any? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Which right here? No, right here. Now that looks off. Pick it up. Let's see. Right there. Just putting stuff down. There we go. Alright. So we have some sitting areas. Let's put some bins because people need to know how to throw stuff away, right? Don't need them walking around trying to find a trash can when there's two right there. We have a leaf leaf pamphlet I want us to put down. Let's put down right there next to her. 
so people can come and grab a pamphlet, read it. Hopefully it's all about the hospital. Let's put some drink machines down. Burp. Need some burp. <clears throat> Excuse me. And need some snack machines. Um, What else can we have? A fire extinguisher, right? Boom, right there. Let's put some plants down. What does plants do? Did I read that? <clears throat> Not just for Christmas requires watering. Increase hospital attractiveness. Okay. So, uh, I like how that tells you the range of the green. Let's put one right there. Boom. I guess we're going to put some couple of posters. Yeah, people can look at these posters. Let's put a plant right here. I think that's I think that's good. I think that's spiffy. Make sure we have uh, some more sitting areas by or oh, outside the buildings. Uh, rooms, I mean, not buildings. Like that. Boom. Okay, that looks nice. Let's play. There we go. Yeah. We now bring you oh, this okay, that's our janitor. Reviews. They're leaving Today happy. Take a look at the new fine dining establishment. Our doctor's treat. just doing stuff. Staff energy and break. Staff get tired as they the work and will eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return work energized. Drinks and snacks help keep them happy too if you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items it will be considered more prestigious people using a high prestige room will become happier a nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster okay so uh, let's pause and make um make a staff room i think we're gonna put one back here yeah Or we can put one right here. I think we're gonna do it back here. We're gonna make it prestigious with more stuff in it. And that's why I try to add like plants and stuff in this so they can be a lot happier. But I guess we could do like more posters or something in their in their rooms. Our janitor Luca just walking around. She seems happy in energy. Okay, rooms. Let's staff room. Yeah, let's put it back here. And let's make it big enough. No, it needs to be bigger. At least three by three, like that. Mm, we can make it a little bit bigger. Ooh, look, prestige level two, because it's bigger, nice. All right, let's put our door. I don't know if I want it inside. Now let's do it right here for right now. The door go right there. Um, lockers. A tiny private space. Increase room. Sure, they can have some lockers. But first, let me add a sofa. Let's see how big the sofa is gonna be. Yeah. Couple of sofas so they can sit down and chill. Um, they also have armchairs. We can do at least one armchair. Um, let's see. Like an armchair right there. Could it? Let's try fitting it in the middle. Yeah. Ah, uh, that looks okay. No, I don't like that. It's gotta look nice. It has to have a flow to it. Can it be really close? Boom. Okay. So they have sitting, seating. Now we have to have drinks in there for them because what's a break room without drinks and a snack? They gotta be really relaxed so they go back to work, ready to work. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and put some lockers down. Thinking lockers can be on this side of the room. Three lockers, oh, prestige level three three nice 
Uh, we need some trash cans. Need a fire extinguisher in every room. Safety first. Uh, let's put a plant in there. Right there. And, oh, we have a dartboard and a television, but not yet. We need K40, 400 points. I only have K20. But let's put some posters everywhere. They can look at these posters and just feel happy. Put one by the door so they can look at the poster while they're leaving the break room and just get even more happier. Yep. Let's do a view of the room. This looks nice. Yeah, because that's all we have to work with. I like it. Boom. That's a nice room. All right. Let's put normal speed again. Staff room. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Note, you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break or in a work room to make them work there. To pick up a member of staff, hover over them and hold the left mouse button. Look, people's coming in. Who are you? She looks like she means business. Angela Plunge. She's going to reception. Appointment recession status queuing. Interesting. She looks like she's busy. Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby. While we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Janders will help maintain all of these. Restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and, and, and unblocking toilets. Okay. So that's where I'm going to end this episode one of our two point hospital next episode we're going to build some toilets we're going to make this hospital a three star hospital okay guys um uh oh my mic decided to go sad on me there we go <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I also do live streams on Twitch Thursday through Saturdays. On Thursday and Friday, I go on at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Saturdays, 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Come on by. I would love to see you. Okay, that's it. If you, if you don't know who I am, I am Cheetah Barbie. But until, but until next time, guys, stay safe. Bye.